Hey everyone, as a lot of you have requested, and you have asked me to, uh, to do a little tutorial or a video about how to actually make a very, very good backhand slice. And, uh, and today that's what I'm gonna do. I will talk a little bit about the technique I'm using and what I think the most important things to focus on is. And then I will also show you which balls I believe is the best ones to do it on. So. Um, so I'm just going to go right into it and I, uh, I hope you can learn something from this and improve your backhand slice at home. So that's just a regular backhand slice on a normal service, a side spinny pendulum service. And, uh, and I think it's very important on, uh, on this shot that you stay low with your body and that you take the ball at a low point. If you take it up here, when the ball is jumping up, the touch is going to get a lot worse than if you wait until the ball is already falling down. Because when the ball is falling down, it gives speed into the racket and it helps you get a good touch and get more spin, even if you do a little bit less. So that's probably the most important thing. And of course also that when the ball is coming, you don't stop halfway through, you have to really go for it and go through the ball so that you, uh, that you get the touch that is necessary to, uh, to get a lot of bounce back. The things I think about when I do this is I really try to make sure that I am following the ball closely almost as if I was just going to do a, a touch to see it. but then when the ball is coming I go back, I stay near and I stay focused on the ball and then I go a little bit through it with the left leg also so that you really rotate into the ball. I think, uh, I think that's, a, uh, that's a good way to make it more safe and secure that you, that you can manage to get a good touch more often than not. Of course, you cannot do this slice on every serve in every situation. It's quite limited because, uh, because it requires a certain type of spin in the ball. But uh, here are some of my favorite situations to use this backhand slice against a right-handed player or if you are right-handed yourself against a left-handed player doing the regular side spin service. Because the ball is rotating perfectly into your racket, you just go through the ball and you make a lot of spin even without actually doing so much yourself. On downspin serves, I believe it's easier Make top spin. As you can see I go through the ball, makes it a very very good and secure touch. And then on top spin surface, you go down into the ball against the spin, and again you get a secure touch. If I try to, for example, make down spin on down spin. I got a very, very good touch there, but it, it just doesn't stay in the racket the same way when you go on the same spin as this top. It's much, much easier and much more safe to go against the spin. Another great situation to use this slice in, I think, is if you're a little bit too far from the table to spin on a half long ball, you can do this. Again, it's a downspin ball, you go against the spin. It looks maybe a little bit weird, but it's really, really easy to do. And it's very unorthodox, so not a lot of players know how to deal with a shot like this. So it's very effective. And of course, the final step will be to do it two or three times in a row, like this. This is, this is where it gets difficult. Do it on the second ball, when they catch the first one, it's coming with a lot of spin, a lot of side spin. 
if you want to do this, it's very important that you go full, otherwise it will die on your record. You need to make sure you do more rotation on your shot than the opponent has to their ball that they catch. Otherwise, it's hopeless. So you really just have to go for it and pray to God that you get it on the table. I will now show you the slides from a few different angles so you can look a little bit yourself and get a good idea of the timing and the technique. I hope this has been of help to you and I hope I have given you some ideas and thoughts that you can try out yourself next time you play table tennis. See you next time.